Hello, hello again. Theo here from Digital Taxidermy with um this week. These are my top maybe around five-ish top tips on how to clean up stuff from your lovely resin printer, but how to do it without spending tons of money. You've already bought your resin printer, cost you loads of money. You don't want to have to spend loads of money on IPA or expensive washing and curing machines that basically cost the same amount as the machine you just bought. So these are my top Tips, hacks, tips. Number one, isopropyl alcohol. It is the stuff you're meant to clean your resin prints with. Don't spend money on that. Get yourself some lovely degreaser here in the UK from Poundland or Home Bargains. H boy balls. I think any sort of bright yellow kitchen degreaser is probably going to work. I think it's mean green in the States. That, that might be a thing. I don't know. This works just as well. Tip number two, when you've used up most of your elbow grease, whatever it is, your degreaser, don't throw it away. You can reuse this stuff. Let whatever you're keeping it in settle for a day, whether that's an ultrasonic cleaner or just a jar that you shake stuff around in. Then pour away the good stuff, throw away the bad stuff. When you've poured away the horrible stuff, you get this lovely sort of chemical kombucha, which, which I wouldn't drink. But you could, but you shouldn't, but you could, but you'd die. Now, tip number three. Yeah, this one seems like it sort of starts off costing money, but it'll make sense later. And I will give you a cheaper alternative. A really good tip for making sure you get the last little bits of residue from your prints is to use an air gun. One of these little artist's air guns are really useful just to get a little bit of compressed air out onto your model to get the last little residues bits of cleaning solvent whatever it is out from inside of your model work to treat but it's not the only way to do it when you've done run your model through your degreaser you might want to just get a little tiny weeny bit of isopropyl alcohol just to give it a quick swish around in but this stuff's going to last a lot longer because you've got most of the resin off into the degreaser and then really this is just to give it that final spritz up before you go to the next stage okay so it's probably fine it is fine it's completely fine these are good tips next tip is not heroin addiction is to get some syringes. You can get them really cheaply off of Amazon or eBay. Get the ones with the blunt tipped needles, and then you can poke those into your model through your drainage holes, give it a squeeze, and the compressed air will blast out any residues inside. If though, you really, really don't want to spend any money on pumps or syringes, this is a final top tip. What you do, you get yourself some paper towel, wrap your models up in the paper towel, put it into a plastic bag, and then spin it as fast as you can. The centrifugal force is going to push, hopefully, most of the liquids out. You'll be surprised how much you get out of there at the end. That's a top. So you've cleaned your model. The next thing to do is to cure it. Now, this isn't my idea. This is just a good tip that you could do. Buy yourself an old bread bin or any old metal box or something like that. Spray paint the inside silver, if it's not silver already. Uh, then you can buy these strips of um, LED lights from Amazon, eBay. They're really pretty cheap. They're also self-adhesive. Glue them, attach them all the way around the edge. What you've got there is a lovely curing chamber for extra cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That's right. So you've seen all my top tips, all the uh, advice we've got for you on how to print things frugally. Well, here's another little freebie. The li these little robots that I've been printing through this video, I'm going to give you 20% off not only these cool robots, but also any of the models that we've got in the resin printer section of our website there's a little there's a thing on the left hand side that says for resin click on that any of the stuff and you get 20 percent off the stl files obviously not not the printed models why would you got that you, you're watching a video about cleaning up prints i i presume you've got a, pr a printer so that's fine anyway uh bye like the video, follow me around, press the bell, it makes no sound, like the video, press subscribe, I don't know why I am a